What's up guys? After so long time, I'm back with another video and maybe after this video it will take another long run, maybe around three months because this is my final year of schooling. So this video is something special we have. It's not a ROM review. It's not any gaming review either. So we have a new mod called the multi-boot patcher. Yeah. So that itself tells you what it is. It's self-explanatory. So it allows you to install multiple ROMs. I guess do it. So anyways, uh, we are going to be installing two ROMs, having this ROM as the primary ROM that I'm in right now and the secondary ROM. You just need the secondary ROM zip file. So I'll be flashing Euphoria OS for just a sample piece. And you need a rooted device, of course. You need to give root permissions for this app. And you need the app itself. Download it from the description. Uh, download it from the download link given in the description below. And then once installed, give root permissions and then open the app. All right, once you open the app, you'll have this UI just ignore and slide the pane from the left hand side and then go to ROMs. So um, give root permissions, like I said. All right, you need to set your kernel. So set now. So it's setting the kernel. All right. So once the kernel is set, this shows that I'm in my primary ROM. You can do anything you want with this ROM, but it's better you don't. So now go to the patch zip section, patch zip file. So this is where you have to patch your uh, ROM zip. So this is the device and select EXT SD card. Now I'm using uh, Moto E and you know it's horrible uh, storage story. So I'll be using the SD card itself and then enter an ID, um, Euphoria o OS and yeah. Now you need to choose the file that has to be patched. So I'll use the, and there we go. And now tap to begin patching. So this starts patching the ROM. This might take a while. So we'll get back as soon as the patching is over. So once patching is done, we are coming to the ROM settings. So if for that, slide the left pane again and then hit ROM settings. Once you come here, hit the update RAM disk button. It'll, it'll take a while. All right, it should be asking you to reboot in a while. Yes, so hit reboot now. But for now, I'll have to hit reboot later because all right, so we have rebooted it and get into the dual boot patcher app again. Now it's time for us to flash the patched file. That is the zip file. So for that, go to the ROM section. You can either flash that zip uh, via recovery or even by using this ROM. It doesn't matter. But just see to that where you flash and how you flash it. You can even perform wiping actions using this app. So no problem with that. Hit this red button or it's pink, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever. Hit that button again. Now you need to select the ROM. Um, so I've placed my ROM over here. So this is the patched file. The official and blah 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 was the uh, original file euphoria os 1.1 sd slot euphoria os zip is the patched file so you need to select the patched zip file and then 
it's asking the zip was originally patched for installation location to a EXTST. Yes, you need to keep that location else the Moto E cannot bear it at all. Keep location. Now you just need to perform the action of install zip file. Oops. So flashing progress is on the move. So I'll get back to you as soon as it's flashed guys. This may take a while, around three to four minutes. I'll get back. So you must be getting this message, successfully completed action. So that means the zip has been successfully flashed. Now the best advantage over this multi-ROM is that you can simply install any number of ROMs without going to recovery every time. So that's the advantage of dual boot and it allows you to install ROMs directly to your SD card. Whereas the multi-ROM did not have that feature and it was only through recovery. So now to switch ROMs, just select the ROM whichever you want to enter and bam, you are inside that ROM. So that and oh yes, to delete the ROM that you have flashed on the secondary slot, just hit the three buttons out there. Ah, sorry, you have to hit the three buttons. I'll switch back to the previous ROM. And yeah, now hit the three button. Wipe ROM, continue, check all the boxes, multiple files, hit OK. So that should have deleted the ROM and now you should be having only the single ROM. So which means the partition that was occupied on the SD card has been cleared. So that was it. See ya.